Hi guys, Tony Dubbed here, and today I'm going to be talking about Valorant, the competitive FPS game that's taking the internet by storm. Now, before getting into this video, I want to shout out a Team Tech GB, in other words, Andrew, who pointed this out to me, and also the security experts on Reddit. Links will be down in the description below to these individuals. Now, I should also mention that I'm not security expert, I'm not a IT professional. However, I am someone who absolutely loves Valorant, and I had someone who has played over 2,000 hours of competitive Counter-Strike, and also someone who has come across other anti-cheat systems that run at somewhat the same level of security as Vanguard anti-cheat, in other words, the, the anti-cheat system that's used for Valorant. The purpose of this video is somewhat to educate you, or to give you some sort of information, and also to share my own thoughts and opinions. So without further ado, let's get into it. To start off, it's very much important to know the different levels of permission on your computer. Now there's a few different rings, ring 0 being the fundamental, ring 1, ring 2 and ring 3. This little um, picture from Wikipedia will give you somewhat of a better illustration than my actual hands. <laughs> now what's very important to know over here is that every single ring, specifically ring 0, has more permission than the other. Now, picture it this way, you're in, in front of a door, you're at home, and you're looking through the people. In other words, a little hole which gives you access to see who's in front of your door when they knock the doorbell. Now imagine in front, of, in front of that you've got another door, and then behind that you've got another door, and another door, and another door. Now ring zero is you as the person, in other words, your operating system, that's looking through that people and seeing what there is in front of you. Now, ring one, who's the person, the door, the person who's knocked the door, who's in front of you, is not able to see inside your house, and they're not allowed to be given that access without it being open. So, in other words, you as ring zero has have more control and more power over ring one, and vi and and so on and so forth. In other words, ring one has more power over ring two, and ring two has more power over ring three. Now, try and visualize this. If you're someone who is at ring two and you're trying to look through that people and you can't see, you can't see what's happening at ring one. Then furthermore, you can't even see what's happening at ring zero. So visualize that and now imagine if you have a game that's running at ring two, but then there is a hack or a cheat that's being built on ring one. That ring one will be able to run perfectly fine without it being ever detected. Why? Because it's running at a more fundamental level of your operating system. Hopefully I've tried to kind of illustrate that and give you somewhat of a real world experience that's something that you can actually kind of visualize yourself. Now, with that in mind, there are anti-cheat systems that run at ring zero, and it's not new. Vanguard isn't the first. It certainly isn't the first because there's games like uh, Counter-Strike that have different clients, let's say Faceit and ESEA, that have been running these anti-cheats that run at ring zero for years. Now these are not totally unhackable, because hackers can build on a ring zero basis, and also can build cheats which go around that. The issue is, is that the more fundamental level you go, such as ring zero being the lowest level that you can go, means that it's a lot harder, a lot more complex, and takes a lot more time, and therefore will cost a lot more money. Anything running at ring zero has full control. And to scroll back, back to 2013, ESEA's anti-cheat client was Bitcoin Mining's people's PCs without them even knowing. So to give you an idea, anything running at ring zero has a lot of privilege over your PC. Now a security expert would never ever install anything like ESEA's anti-cheat or face it anti-cheat. In fact, they might go over that to the level of having a virtual machine and running it via a different PC altogether where all your data isn't stored. Now for most people that's not actually possible or they just won't want to do that to the point where they will just accept that Faceit or ESEA's anti-cheat run at ring zero and very much the case with Vanguard anti-cheat. The thing is for those people who do want to play those games and do want to run that level of anti-cheat and therefore negate the amount of hackers they have, I say amount but not fundamentally cancelling out all the hackers as I've mentioned before, then you'll be basically exposing your PC to anyone and everyone. When I say anyone and everyone, I mean these companies, anyone they're affiliated to, or even the governments they're even affiliated to. I'm not getting into conspiracy theories, I'm truly giving you the facts as to what this means when you're giving someone or a company that amount of privilege over your computer and all the data that's on it. Now, why would you care? Why does that make it important about Vanguard anti-cheat? Well, it runs 
Unlike ESEA and Faceit, which essentially run when the game or when their client is running, Vanguard Anti-Cheat runs in the background all the time. Which basically means you're constantly at the mercy of this company not being hacked or having any sort of issues. To the point where if something were to go wrong or let's say Riot Games really wanted some data from you, they could extract it at any point without you even knowing. As I mentioned, that level of security that it's got and that level fundamental basis that it's built on means that they can do that at any time without you even knowing from millions of people from all different types of people and that would mean that some people have been saying malware for example is associated with with this vanguard anti-cheat because it can essentially do anything it wants in the background without you ever knowing and without even antivirus systems even picking this up. So that is my issue with Vanguard Anti-Cheat. It's not the fact of how it's built and, you know, its competitors, for example. My problem is that it's running 24-7. And that means that I do not trust some company, no matter who they might be, to actually have that access over my own data at all times. If Valorant wants to be a competitive game, it can be, with the anti-cheat running only when the game is running. It really has no need to run 24-7 all the time in the background. And hopefully Riot Games is going to address this. But from my initial thoughts and from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing Riot Games kind of having a different stance on this and saying, we want it to run all the time because we trust our own in engineers and security researchers and all these people to be doing their job. Well, I'm sorry, Riot Games, but if that's your stance on it, I'm never going to touch Valorant ever in my life. And that was the last experience I had on a closed beta. So hopefully you understand uh, where I'm coming from and hopefully this has somewhat opened up your eyes is the reason why I'm putting it on totally dubbed HD rather than my gaming channel which I normally would do this type of um, content because I'm talking about a game but I just really wanted to bring this out to the wider public and for you guys to also share your opinions with me and of course favor and share if you want to bring this out to a wider audience so your family and friends can see like and subscribe as it will help the channel grow and of course as always try and stay safe and as healthy as possible Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed. Take care and bye-bye.